Is there any way to bypass trading views to indicator limit? If you have a paid trading view account, you can just skip this video because you don't have this restriction. You can already add as many indicators as you want. But those of you using the free version really suffer from this. It's a pain because two indicators really isn't much and you'd like to have a bit more. And it's not just traders who want this. Well, traders for sure, but even investors because two indicators just aren't enough even for basic market analysis. And the answer to this question is, yes, you can. In this video, I'll show you how to add quite a few indicators to the free version of TradingView. I'll show you how to do it in just five minutes. I'll show you how to add both simple indicators like MA, RSI, or something like that, and more complex indicators that are really beautiful, functional, and modern. And of course, we'll be using neural networks for this, basically artificial intelligence. I'll be using ChatGPT3 Mini High, but really, you can use any other as well. Well, any other? You could probably also use Claude and maybe DeepSea. The rest probably won't be able to handle our tasks just yet. You won't need to rewrite any code. I'll provide everything, of course. In the description of this video, there will be a link to my Telegram channel and to a post where everything will be attached. So you can just grab it all from there. And while you're at it, you can subscribe to my Telegram channel and my YouTube channel, give me a like, and hit the bell in advance. My name is Maxim Fichinko, and you're on the Thinking Out Loud channel. Let's go hack TradingView. If you thought I was about to show you a bunch of scripts you could use to hack TradingView, and maybe even the Pentagon, well, of course not. We won't be using any malicious software. We'll just make do with the features that are already built into and allowed on TradingView plus neural networks. But this will still help us solve our problem and get around the two indicator limit. Honestly, I think TradingView is currently the greatest, like truly the greatest, invention for traders, especially for traders. For investors, maybe you could use some other tools, but for traders, this platform is simply irreplaceable. It's really awesome. I have the highest subscription tier. I pay something like 100,000 a year for TradingView. I really love, value, and respect this platform. It actually lets me make money with the bots I've created, tested, and use right in TradingView. There are videos about these bots on this channel. You can check them out via the suggestion link. And honestly, a lot of my problems and tasks have become solvable thanks to TradingView. So maybe I shouldn't have even made this video at all. But I get it. Just two indicators is really not enough. After all, a lot of people simply can't afford to pay for TradingView. At the same time, they're investing, maybe into crypto, or their students. Or, for example, they're investing in the stock markets on the Moscow Exchange. Both groups, of course, would love to have such a powerful tool and at least three indicators. If there were, like before, a year ago, for example, three indicators, I wouldn't have bothered making this video at all because I think with three indicators you can pretty much come up with anything you need. Well, in the basic version, and if you need more than that, then please pay up. But two, that's just way too few. You add RSI and a moving average, and that's it. You can't even build the basic elders triple screen system like that. So in short, it's your own fault. And let me show you a basic way to add a few basic indicators really quickly, literally in three seconds. Look, this is the Bitcoin chart for hours. And for example, let's say we want to add a few MAs, moving averages, uh, different ones with some different parameters. Nothing could be easier. We just add the guppy multiple moving average indicator, GMMA. And now we instantly have a bunch of moving averages. To be precise, there are 12 of them right away. You see, these are the settings for this indicator. There are exactly 12 MAs here, and you can set any style, any parameters you want for them. But aside from that, the GMMA itself, especially on higher time frames, works quite well as a trading indicator. You can trade directly using it. That's another way you can use it. See that? 12 MA indicators at once. And it literally took just three seconds. Well, that's it. I guess I've done my part and I'm out. Of course, I'm just kidding, guys. Actually, I showed this method to explain that many of the indicators you find interesting, and which are actually basic trader indicators, are usually already put together. So you can just dig through the indicators on TradingView, which are completely free, and most likely you'll already find some kind of setup there, like 3MAs, RSI, Stochastic, or maybe 3MAs, MACD, and something else. Because you're not the first person trying to get around the two free indicators limit. 
and maybe it's worth just searching, and you'll find what you need. But if you suddenly can't find what you need, or you want your own custom setup, or if the indicators aren't as simple as MAs, but you still have the two indicator limit on the screen, what should you do? That's right, you just need to create your own indicator. And ideally, you should understand programming and just build it yourself. But I'll show you how to do it without programming, using a neural network instead. Well, technically, we will be programming, but ChatGPT will do it for us. I've written ready-made prompts for you, and I'll share both the prompts and some life hacks on how to do this better. Simply because, well, this is actually not an easy task, and to avoid wasting a ton of time on it, watch this video until the end. I'll just give you a ready-made recipe. Look, I posted the text here, and I'll share it with you, so you don't have to read it off the screen. There are two prompts here. The first prompt is, oh, interesting, what's this? Oh, the forsake profit. The robot made some money. By the way, the robot was also created using neural networks. You can check out my social experiment. I set up four robots, and through trading view, I'm trading on the Moscow exchange and on the cryptocurrency market. A video will pop up somewhere here as a suggestion. So, to put together simple indicators like MARSI, Stochastic, or MACD, all you need is a prompt like this, feed it to the neural network, and just list three indicators in a row, and it will combine. Put them all together into one. And if these are basic indicators, it will combine them without mistakes and pretty quickly. Most likely, this prompt will be enough. If anything, you can just send to the errors that trading you gives you, and it will fix them for you. Everything will be pretty quick and straightforward. I'm not even going to show how it's done, because it's boring. I think you'll manage just fine without me. But what if you want modern, cool, and visually appealing indicators that, for example, calculate something in crypto, like liquidity, or spot whales, or automatically draw levels for you, or maybe some of those zero luck series indicators that are popular in trading right now and actually work really well. Now, that's a lot more interesting. And now I'll show you what to do in this case. So, we still have the Bitcoin 4 hour chart in front of us. Let's put together a more or less reasonable trading system. For example, let's use Algo Alpha Zero Luck. It actually performs pretty well, by the way. It shows both entries and reversals. By the way, these aren't market entries. The market entries are these. In short, it's actually a pretty cool indicator. And you could even trade using just this one. Well, not for everything, but for some things it works quite well. And with a few tweaks, it can work out really nicely. By the way, if you want me to make videos where I show trading systems, modern indicators, how to use all this, how it works, where to get it, or maybe even how to refine it into a ready-to-use trading strategy, let me know in the comments so I'm aware. You can also suggest any indicators for review. I'd be happy to do it. It's no trouble for me. It's just that I'm not sure whether you're interested in this kind of content or not. After all, this is very specialized content, trading strategies, technical indicators, so let's add a bit more to it. It would be useful to know about the heat map, what's happening, where the liquidity zones are, and where our resistance and support levels will be. Well, you can see it here, right? Liquidity was accumulating here. Generally, a trader already understands this, but it's still nice to see it on the chart. Looks pretty good, right? There are some strong support zones around 40. But I think if the token is dropping, then no one will care about strong support zones anymore. There's some liquidity here at 76, and in somewhere around 68, 70. Well, it's a cool indicator, looks nice. It wouldn't be bad to add it. Why not? And let's add dynamic support and resistance levels that form a channel for us. As you can see, there are danger zones here, and there are also resistance zones, which are also danger zones, as well as support zones. And the middle of this channel, it's well known that trades often play out from the middle as well. This is also a kind of resistance. Plus, this indicator also gives entry points. See, this is a short entry, and this is a long entry. And this is an indicator from Big Beluga. So, in total, we've added two pretty good indicators from Auto Alpha and one from Big Beluga. Actually, they have a lot of cool free indicators. Yes, they do charge money for their trading systems. They're closed, and you can buy access to their trading systems. They're pretty good, but that's up to each person to decide. But they also have a lot of free indicators, so you can definitely dig around and see what they have. They're pretty interesting teams, actually. Now, let's try to combine all their indicators into one, because we have a limit of two indicators, and there's no way we can use all three, even if we really want to. For that, I have a second prompt, and it's a bit different from the first one. 
The main difference is that we build the big indicator step by step. So, first we'll merge the first and second indicators, and then we'll combine the result with the third one. And if you want, you can keep going, add a fourth, add a fifth indicator. And here, I'll share some life hacks. They definitely work with ChatGPT. I don't know how they'll work with other neural networks, but in ChatGPT, they definitely help. When you want to add a fourth or fifth indicator, start a new conversation. Cut out part of my prompt, or rephrase it so that you're attaching another indicator to the finished one, and start a new chat. If you want to attach a fifth indicator to four already combined ones, also start a new conversation, because the code from the old indicators will keep interfering. We copy this prompt, paste it into ChatGPT in a new conversation, scroll down like this, and press Shift plus Enter to scroll down a bit more. Then we go to Trading View and take one of the indicators as a base. First, I always suggest starting with a basic indicator, and let's say we'll use zero luck with signals. We hover over it, click on the curly brackets, and its code opens up. Basically, that's the entire code for this indicator, and it's already highlighted. Press Ctrl C and paste it right here. Well, to avoid any unnecessary text getting in the way, which it might try to implement as well, we just remove it. As a result, we end up with a request and, basically, the indicator itself, and we send it. It thought for a bit and, for some reason, immediately gave me the indicator code. Well, I guess I could have just waited for the code of the second indicator. Let's go get it. In the same way, we minimize it, take, I don't know, the smart money heat map, copy it, and send it the code for the second indicator. After adding the second indicator, it took quite a long time to process, and then gave me a pretty lengthy code combining both indicators. Just click copy, go to trading view, click the arrow here, select create new indicator, delete everything from there, and paste the new code that trading view gave us. You can enter any script name here, but I won't for now, because when it's updated again and another indicator is added, the name will get reset anyway. So for now, just save it. Yeah. Let's agree to that. It's compiled. So now click Add to Chart. See, here it is, all go alpha combined. And we can toggle its visibility on and off like this. We can see that it matches exactly what we need. The heat map and the zero luck signals. Perfect. We also take Big Beluga, click the curly brackets, press Ctrl A, Ctrl C, paste it into the chat, and hit send. Basically, you can do this four, five, six, even seven times if you want. It all depends on the indicators since there are limits on the number of objects that can be drawn on the screen. And if your indicator exceeds that, basically, you'll realize you've hit the limit. But usually, that just means your screen is such a mess that you can't make sense of anything anyway. In order not to waste time, I did everything without you, got the indicator code and renamed it to the short title mega mega indicator and clicked. Add to chart. And now we have another indicator on the chart, which again duplicates everything. But let's check. Let's disable everything. Peak, I'll go alpha, and zero luck. But the picture hasn't changed at all. Moreover, in the settings of this mega indicator, I added tabs that let you turn any of the indicators on or off. So, for example, let's remove reaction zones. See, the levels disappeared. You can also enable or disable any indicator, and all the settings for each indicator are conveniently described, and you can adjust them separately. Of course, I'll share this indicator with you as well. Absolutely free. No need to thank me. Actually, scratch that. Do thank me, but with likes, subscriptions, and views. But I won't publish it through TradingView, since I already got a strike there for publishing just one trading strategy. They just don't like it when people openly publish trading strategies. Well, or at least, they don't always like it. So, I'll just give you the entire code. You can simply copy and paste it, and you'll have exactly the same indicator for yourself, which you can modify however you like. See you all later.